Uh, my name is Tanvir Hassan. I'm a professor of finance and accounting, and I'm currently employed as a vice chancellor of Independent University, Bangladesh. My dad worked for the government services, so I had to move to different schools as a kid. So throughout my career, uh, my research has been uh, what you call in the overlapping field between accounting and finance. And this is formally called the capital market research in accounting. So I would say I always have held dual appointments in accounting and finance, although my formal training is in finance. And on a personal note, I am a proud father of two children, uh, a son named Neil Hassan and a daughter, Ria Hassan. Both of them shared the same passion of golf with me. First of all, I'm not sure if I am the only vice chancellor who golfs. To me, that's a mute point, but I can share my excitement about golfing. If I golf in the morning, that sets the tone for the day for me. And if I know I'm paying off in the evening, it keeps me going and motivated throughout the day in anticipation of the fun that I'll have on the course. So that keeps me going. Uh, I picked up golfing uh, in 1994. I started my career in North Carolina, and then I had a colleague named Dr. Deepender Bajwa. And he was a, a keen golfer uh, by that time already. And being uh, colleagues on, in the same campus, I got close to him and then eventually picked up the game through him. So I appreciate what he did for me and, and unlocking the fun that I'm continuing to have on the course. Depending on the condition of the putting green, the game can be uh, out of your grip. So putting green is the most critical part of the golf course, uh, I would think. Well, typically people associate that answer with their handicap. I would rather not go that way because I consider myself a passionate golfer rather than a good golfer. So if you ask me to talk about my achievements, I would say the fact that I broke 90 several times in one season, that is my proudest achievement to be honest. <laughs> sure, actually I played a whole assort assortment of different sports in different phases of life. At this age, uh, I guess because of the age bracket I'm in, I don't have too many choices to play other sports. So I'm completely focused on golf. That before every swing I make, I do a practice swing. And that's a regular drill I do. Well, I have a long list of favorite golfers. Uh, to name a few, uh, Greg Norman, Nick Faldo, Jordan Spieth, and of course, Tiger Woods. I actually have a dozen or so golf courses in my bucket list that I would like to play in. Uh, right now, I'm eyeing on two courses, the Vent uh, Verdura golf course in Italy and the Cape Kidnappers golf course in uh, New Zealand. So these are the two courses that are on my priority list, but I do have a dozen or so in my uh, wish list, so to speak. A group of tourists can be rotated in and out of the country, touching certain courses that we feature. For example, we can take lessons from it, uh, Turkey. Their golfing courses are in the southern belt. And we have beautiful courses in Chittagong, now one being built in Kutsas Bazaar. We can also think of a southern belt, so to speak, of golf courses and kind of position them for the tourists. So that I think given the geographical location, the exoticness of the golf courses, if they are packaged properly, either across the country or maybe into the southern region and nurtured and promoted, I see unlimited opportunity in terms of golf tourism in this country. I think the one that tops the list is that it's a boring game. Uh, that's what people think. But this is a very challenging game. It's, it's a humbling game, it will humble you. And it is exciting and engaging and rewarding and it, it is accessible or it encourages our people from diverse background to come in in terms of their age and skill level. And golfing can be addictive too. The future of golf in this country will be very much dependent on how we can be more inclusive in terms of encouraging more younger people, more young people to participate in this game. 
giving the young generation access to different courses at an affordable price would be the key to the growth of this sport in this country on a professional level. We are also focusing a lot on the quality of student life. Keeping the 2028 Olympics, we are investing in our infrastructure. And we are hoping in 2028 Olympics, squash will be there for the first time. And Bangladesh will be representing uh, in that tournament to have to send a strong squash team in 2028 Olympics where the players belong to IUB. And that's the tremendous undertaking we have taken. And that's our contribution to the national sports scene and for the national pride. That we also need to focus on young amateur golfers instead of relying completely on uh, professional golfers who are coming to the ranks uh, of a caddy. And nothing wrong with it, but we should have parallel supply uh, of uh, golfers from two different pipelines to make it even more or to have a bigger impact in the national and global scene. About my involvement in the academic uh, side of my career or in the teaching industry as you put it, I think the uniqueness, the blend of a diverse group, a different uh, age group, different socioeconomic group and different stages of learning. It's wonderful to be able to have this opportunity to interconnect between generations and different phases of learners and different stages of learners. And that's what makes it exciting. There is no secret to success in my career, really. I believe in hard work. I'll, before hard work, I believe in commitment, hard work, and then perseverance. I believe if an individual has these three deployed in their life, success is a matter of time and they can reach it anytime. Advices to the young generation. I would say stay focused and keep plugging in. Remember, life is not a race, it's a marathon. As you go in your life, in different phases of life, you'll fall down many times. Don't worry about falling down. It doesn't matter how many times you fall down. What matters most is how quickly you get back up, get on your feet, and keep moving. So my advice would be keep moving, keep plugging in, and things will work out. Thank you.